Grades are entered into your D2L gradebook in one of two ways. First, the grades can be exported from a learning activity, so an online quiz, a Dropbox assignment, or a discussion board. And then second, grades can be entered manually by the instructor or the grader in the course. This video is going to cover how to manually enter grades into the D2L gradebook. We will cover exporting grades in a separate video. Note that if your grade item is associated with a learning activity, all grading and grade troubleshooting should take place in that specified learning activity or tool, and not the gradebook itself. To enter grades manually, first, let's open the Grades tool from our course homepage by clicking the Evaluation Link group and then selecting Grades. Navigate to the Enter Grades screen. Your Grades tool may open to this screen automatically, but if it does not, simply click on Enter Grades from the submenu located at the top of the frame. You have a couple of options for entering grades from this Enter Grades page using either the Spreadsheet view or the Standard view. Option 1, Entering Grades from the Spreadsheet view. First, ensure that you're in Spreadsheet view. By verifying that the View button reads Switch to Standard view, You'll also know that you're in Spreadsheet View because all of the grade items will be open displaying these text boxes. Locate the grade item or column that you want to enter and type in a grade point value for each student within that item's column. Then, once you're finished, click Save. Option 2 is entering grades from the Standard View. So, you need to ensure that you're in the standard view by verifying that your view button reads switch to spreadsheet view, and you'll also know that you're in standard view because none of the grade items will be open. Instead, everything will be closed with no visible text boxes on the page. Locate the grade item you want to grade, and then select grade all from that item's context menu. The individual grade item will open on a new page, and from here you can enter the grade point values for each student along with any feedback you wish to include for each student. To enter feedback, click on that chat bubble icon and a window will pop open. Enter your student-specific feedback here, and then click Save. You can use the filtering options to customize the students displaying on your screen. You can choose to display a specific group or section of students. You can also manipulate the number of students shown on this page by selecting a different number in this per page drop down box located on the right. It's a good practice to always ensure that all of your students are displaying in your course. That way you can rest assured that all students have been accounted for in your grading workflow. You can also use the action links located at the top of the grading table. So to use one of these links, you need to select one or more students checkboxes on the left hand side and then select one of the action links. If you select the grade action link, that will enter the same grade for every student selected. You can click the clear action link to clear out grades for the selected students. And then you can click the email action link to send an email to all selected students. You can also perform bulk actions using the item's context menu located at the top of the frame. Selecting Grade All will update all students' grades to a single grade that you specify. Selecting Clear All, of course, will delete all student grades for this item. Once you've completed entering grades for this specific item, click Save and Close to save your grade changes and then return to the Enter Grades screen.